Let's get into it. Northwestern and Purdue both 1-0 and o in the league. Coming in, this one turned out to be a really competitive game in West Lafayette. Vic Law hitting the three, 12 points, 10 rebounds, four assists. Wildcats up by two. Isaac Haas was just dominant. The dunk down low ties it at 51. Scotty Lindsay, though, answers for the Cats. He had 17. Northwestern back up by two, playing far better, really, than they have all year. Derek Pardon down low, 20 points, eight rebounds for Pardon, but he fouled out. Pardon again. Northwestern shot 48%, just seven turnovers. Ryan Klein, how about Ryan Klein? He was four of 23 behind the arc coming in, hit three of four in this one. Then Law, the deep three. Northwestern back up one. Lindsay, spin move, hanging, hitting. Wildcats by two. They just couldn't deal with Haas, though. Off glass, career high 26. More from Big Isaac. 71-69 Boilers. A frenetic moment here. Gavin Skelly misses badly. Lindsay gets it back. Matt Harms. Four blocks for Harms. 16 in the last four games. Long arm of the law, Stephen. Oh, no doubt. A lot of, lot of emotion there, too. And Brian McIntosh, chance to tie for the Wildcats. Cannot get it to go. Purdue added a couple free throws. 74-69. John Crispin with the winners. What can you say about a game this early? I mean, in any way are you prepared for this December 3rd? I mean, I mean, we knew it was going to be a battle. Those guys are a great team. Um, they're talented offensively. They, they play great defense, and we knew that they were going to try and uh, try to shut me out of the game. But, you know, we just I just did my rules and uh, did what Coach taught me to do was just get low and just score the ball. What can you say about Isaac Haas and Matt Harms? I mean, different energy, but Isaac Haas just dominated on the offensive end. Yeah, Isaac's a load, man. He's tough to handle. I thought he kept it simple there. He missed a couple bunnies throughout the game, but he kept it simple and made some huge plays for us. Do you have an idea of the ceiling for your team so far this season? Well, it's hard. You get into these Big Ten games, and you're just trying to survive. So um, I like our guys. You know, Carson got knocked out there and, um, you know, didn't have the best game, but he's, he's a great player. He's going to come back and win one for us.